I was taking a nap in the shape of the spout of a watering can. And I was humming a little tune. When the world started shaking and I couldn't move before the floods began. So much for a quiet afternoon. And before I knew it, I was bobbing around. A snail crying, help, doesn't make a lot of sound. I'd give anything to be back on solid ground. I feared that very soon I would be drowned in the watering can. I decided to try to go with the flow and head for the spout. It seemed the safest way. A little white water rafting up towards the light ought to get me out. I closed my eyes and held my breath and I began to pray. But before I knew it by the shell I was stuck. Plan seemed to have failed, I had run out of luck Well, I was running out of time and I was really in the muck Without WD-40 I could never get unstuck from the watering can Well, with a cry of abandoned shell, I struggled free Out of the can, I didn't feel like me. Getting out of the shell takes a bit of a knack, and the sun is very hot when it shines on your back. So I crawled underneath a little bit of old sack. When the watering is finished, I will try to back track to the watering can. So gardeners everywhere, if you ever chance to find an empty shell in your watering can, please leave it well alone, because the owner is probably on his way back with a great suntan, hoping to Reclaim his long lost home He's moving fast before somebody puts salt on his tail Cause he looks like a slug even though he is a snail And if you look down you may even see his trail He's had a bad day but he's lived to tell the tale Of the watering can Of the watering can of the watery